I wrote a review okay, before we get into it. Review. I wrote a review because I'm going to work on being a critic. <laughs> okay. I wrote a review for Artifice Girl. Okay. Why don't right? you lay it on us? I wrote this last night. Exiting the theater shouldn't just be a way to get back to your car and go home. It can be. <laughs> <laughs> Runk. <laughs> Hello. 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 Terrible. The terrible. No. Sex. Oh, I do. I love sex and candy. Yeah. Yeah. I know it. No, I said that first, mother. You. You didn't say it in that part. I know, but I said the name of the song. I know. But I, so you, I, he can't be like, yeah, you got it. I got the melody. No, but I know it. I like sex and candy, yeah. I smell sex and candy, yeah. Who's that lounging in that my chair? Basic, basic, the lyrics. I don't. Who's I don't know. that casting okay. devious stares in my direction? Mama, this Why do you surely know all this stuff? is a dream. Why do you know all the lyrics? Yeah, yeah. I'm just jamming, bro. Why, why do you know all the lyrics? Yeah, mama, this surely is a dream. Wow. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, ate something. Yeah. And likes it. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, hold on. Why is that a... Why do you know all that? Because it was a huge song. It's killing me. It's the something. What is it? It's the Playground. Terribles. What playground? Marcy, Marcy Playground. Marcy Playground. Frigonauts. Frigonauts. Jason and the Frigonauts. You know no. what I'm saying? Dude, It. why is it... So it's blind. about you look. You look super blind. Is it? So it's, it's <laughs> it's uh from uh New York. It's from New York. A song is not from anywhere. Marcy, Marcy's isn't that New York playground? That's not. It's not Marcy. It's a playground. band. Marcy though. Marcy playground is a band. Marcy is in New York, so I'm saying maybe it's in playground in New York. All right. So there we go. I'm very cultural. I'm very geographical. Okay. Okay. So wait, hanging around. Downtown by myself, and I've All had right. too much caffeine. Oh, and that's what I was that is. Okay. thinking now I about it. myself, and then as she was, I don't want you to be singing it. All right, but uh, I get it now. Um, Black disco. Na -na -na -na. See ya. <laughs> uh, that would have turned up podcast off, honestly, if I was listening. Well, guess what? Uh, you're not. You're not our demo. You're. Wearing the most regular orange button down I've ever seen in my life. There's Thank absolutely you. nothing special about it. It's the most regular orange button down shirt I've ever seen in my life. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Exactly. But just say that. Exactly. It is so regular, it would be in fucking Old Navy in 2003, or it's Union Bay. It's Wrangler. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's Wrangler? Wrangler. 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 Uh, the way that it makes that is, I, I wouldn't know Wrangler makes those colors, honestly. Well, they used to. These and colors, they I don't run. I procure the good things. Procure. I procure the best things on offer that the world has. Trump. Okay. And it's like nothing you've ever seen. And Trump. I have this Trump. same shirt. I have this same shirt. Yeah. It's like nothing anyone's ever seen. Trump. It's in magenta as well. It's in orange it, as well. It's just like that one? It's, yeah. So it is in, like something I've ever seen. It's in red as well. So it's just something I've seen. Yeah, but they're all like nothing. And you have all seen. of them? I have all of the ones I said, yes. And I, so they're all like each other. So I've seen that. I just, those are like ones I've seen. That okay. one. No. I've only worn one of them ever on this show, and I'm doing it right now. Let's talk about this, dude. How crazy is it that Lifeline Luxury is out, and you can go catch it right now on Patreon, <laughs> patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury. And let me tell you something about it. It's been going gangbusters. We I'll get, tell you something. We got about extra it. episodes of Lifeline out on the Patreon, and people are just eating them up, dude. You know what? I'll what? tell you. What? About Lifeline Luxury. Okay, what? Dad has uh -huh. been bugging us. Oh, I know, dude. For weeks now. Has he been able to see it? To just, I got the whole okay, story, okay. okay? He's been bugging but us. Let's set it up by saying our parents watch every single episode of Lifeline. Yes. Which is cute. Yeah. They, they look forward to it, and obviously, because, you know. Every Sunday night, they like watching it. Yeah. Their favorite people are in it. And, my mom and dad. And uh, so my dad, because mm -hmm. it's not, it's through Patreon and not through regular YouTube. Yeah. Uh, my dad, well, my mom even more because my mom didn't even know to ask me. So at least my dad knows it should be possible to watch it on the TV. Which it is. He, he just didn't know how. 
And okay. Chris, our producer, told him, and mm -hmm. that wasn't enough for him. Of course him. it wasn't. So he, when I came over yesterday, mm -hmm. he asked me to do it. And I said, what about what Chris, Chris told you how to do it? And he said, yeah, and I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. Then I finally figured it out. Mm -hmm. And he seemed to barely care once I did. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> so it took wow, me, that's so shitty. Yeah, it took me like a long time until I Chris was like, "Okay, now this is how you do it." Then I was because I can't do that kind of shitty. Yeah, yeah, you're not I mean? good at it. Yeah, um, we'll watch it. But I knew you were gonna do that. You're predictable. Uh, well, um, I'm not. Is what's is what's wild. I knew you were gonna do that. No, you didn't. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. <laughs> hey, so dude, anyway, so nice, nice to meet you. You don't, you don't know anything. <laughs> so then, so then, oh, I do to introduce yourself. So then, what? Uh, Known you for then fucking... I was like, I set it up. I set it up, Dad, and he was like, Yeah, yeah, great. And I was like, What? <laughs> Where's the reward in this? You know what I mean? So at the, at, all right. So all right. Well, maybe he'll thank you now. Maybe eventually. Maybe if he sees that... it and likes it, he'll be like, Hey, thanks, Matt. You hooked me up. Yeah. But he didn't really react that way. You know what I hate? When we would be living at home, I mean, many years ago. Mm -hmm. well, and we were, you could have just said when we were kids. But and, yeah. um, and you would hear mom be like, oh, shit, Chris. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. God, dude. About the computer. She, did, she made something go away. Oh. She'd be like, I made it go away. What did I do? Yeah. And then you'd come in, fix it. This is how it would always go. You'd come in, fix it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'd be like, oh, you just kind of minimized it here. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Always was that. All right. Yeah. Yeah, just hit the fuck, hit the fucking green thing here. Yeah. And then she'd go, okay. And then you'd walk out yep. down the hall. Yep. And then, dude, 80% of the time, she'd go like this. Oh, shit. Wait, Chris. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, never mind. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, shit. Chris, wait. Oh, all right. Never mind. Also, here's the thing that bothered me the most. Yeah. And it's not actually just her. This is Take my shirt. Take my shirt. The, uh, the thing that bothers me the most is that when you do something like that for somebody and you say, so just so you know, so yeah. next time this happens. Right, right, right. And they're right, like, right. I'm not going to know. I'm not going to know. And it's like, right. oh, oh, oh. Right, 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 right. So my time is yeah. nothing yeah. to you. Yeah. yeah. But your time, 15 more seconds just to learn this yeah, yeah. for the rest of your life is too much. Okay. Yep. yep. Guess what's going to happen? What's it's going to, whatever's going to happen with the Lifeline Luxury, which mm -hmm. you can get on patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury, it's going to log out or whatever in Dad's TV. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be like, yeah, I need you to do it again. Yep. So, maybe, you know, that's going to happen. I mean, I'm looking forward to that. Maybe he'll actually thank me next time. Yeah. Uh, I will be in Colorado. I will be in Pueblo, Colorado. I'll be in Colorado P Springs. Chrislea.com for tickets. Uh, interesting that he would be changing. Yeah. Right? When it said there. You know right? what? It really um, was interesting. So, I know, I know. That's nice. Las Vegas. I'll be in Las Vegas. Um, Knoxville, Tennessee. Little Rock, for some reason, and Nashville. So, chrislea.com. Get tickets there, and that's great. It's uh, one thing that is interesting about what I talked about, about Dad. Yeah. Is that it's today, this episode's Father's oh, Day. Oh, yeah, that's right. It is. It is Father's so Day. So, in honor of Father's Day, uh, I told the story about my dad not thanking me enough. Uh, there you go. Yeah. It's Father's Day for me, dude. I, I It's my first Father's Day having two kids. Oh, yeah? Yep. How's that so far? I don't know because we're not recording the day yet. it before. It's not it. even the day yet. All I, right. Okay. As we're talking, I just got back from Tucson. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. That show was awesome. Yeah? Even though I have no idea. Oh. Well, well right, right, it's not right, there it's yet. In the future. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Okay, cool. That's cool. But it was uh, great. A lot of people there having a good time at the Linda Ronstadt Music Hall or whatever. This Thank you. Named after Linda Tucson. Ronstadt? Yeah, I believe so. Hey, cool. Imagine you're Linda Ronstadt and the one you get named after was the one in fucking Tucson. I mean, maybe maybe she's from there or something. Who knows? That. I would take it. You know, that's yeah, yeah, that's nice. major city, major yep. American city. Um, Lifeline luxury, though, huh? Yeah, definitely. So it's you the best. can you got to yeah. sign up. If you don't sign up, it you, is you ain't nice. And also, you can. Uh, it's just us bantering. No, no video submissions or anything like that. But if you do have a video submission, go to uh, watchlifeline.com uh, or the hotline we have there. And uh, if you want a one-on-one -on -one session with Matt, go to mattdelia.com. I had some real good ones yesterday. Oh yeah, real good day sessions. Oh, that's and good. by good, I mean real freaky stuff. You oh, know? Wow. people coming at me with some real freaky stuff. Oh, okay. And then if you want the merch, which is absolutely incredible, lifelinemerch.com. There we go. Um, I will say this. I could not sleep last night and I'm pissed about it. 
You, dude? Why, 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 why? All right, so here's what happened. I got home. I was at the Laugh Factory. I got home. Uh, I was with a buddy. I was like, let's go to my house and order some food. He goes like this, nah. So I'm like, all right, I go home. I want to order spaghetti and meatballs. I didn't, though, because the place was closed. Okay. But it's all good. You know I keep it lean, but I didn't feel like keeping it, it lean. Does, yeah, it doesn't sound like you, but go on. Didn't. Yeah, yeah exactly, right? Because I've been working out like crazy, bro. Okay, keep going. All Don't right. get sidetracked. I know, but I did a big shoulder day yesterday. Don't care. No, okay. And no one, no one watching cares. I did military presses and then also just with the dumbbells no, after that. No one's ever cared. And then okay. I did battle ropes at the end, but that was after a bunch of stuff. No one could feasibly care about Fly, shoulder shoulder It's not even possible that in the future someone might care. All right. So um, after that, I go, you know what? I earned it. So fuck it. So I went to go get two. I, I ordered two burgers to the house because wow. one burger is a snack. I don't just eat one. I really don't like that thing that you say. I just really detest it. Can you tell me why? Yeah, because it's not even remotely true. <laughs> You know what I mean? Well, well what do you? And when well, things are not remotely true, and people say them with complete conviction, it makes me mad. What do you mean it's not? Burgers true? are yeah. big, fat slob food that you don't usually even finish. Then why do I eat two? I think because you're a big, fat slob, dude. And doing it at like midnight, dude. Let me whoa. Tell you right now. Let me tell you right now. If you're if you're eating one burger and you can't finish it, and you're a dude, you're a bitch. You're a bitch. That's Even the, if you leave one bite. Just like, pl- first of all, that's just like plain schoolyard bully yep. shit. And I said it. And it's wrong. It's not wrong. Eat so the whole those, burger, dude. Come on, bro. It's a little bit. It's what a do you care? What are you, everyone's mom? I'm not. Finish what's on your plate. No. Finish what's on no. your plate. But like, you're not even really hungry. Just wait a little bit till you can eat the whole burger because it's just a snack, dude. After you eat a burger, I go like this. What do you want to eat? Well, you're fat then. And then you heart. burger. In your heart? In your soul, you're fat. So I ate, I got two, because I know my shit. I didn't get fries. I got two burgers. Okay. Okay? To leave room for the second burger, I didn't want fries. Uh, Okay. Yeah. So then I sat and I watched a movie. And uh, what was it? Oh, my God. Could you be more boring? (laughs) Could you possibly be more boring right now? I mean, uh, it's like you're trying to set some record. What was the movie I watched last night? Oh, I don't know. Oh, Artifice Girl. That's such a bad title, by the way. What what, what is that? Yeah, it's a bad title, but the movie was really good. What is it? It it won South by Southwest or something like that. It takes place in like three different rooms, and it's about AI. Ooh, I like the sound of that. William Shatner. I do that now. So um, something sounds good, I go, ooh. William Shatner. So uh, I ate the two burgers. Then I looked and see what, what kind of sweets we got. Ate the sweets, and uh, then try, went to bed at about twelve thirty. I wrote a review for. Uh, I think I know why you didn't get to sleep. Okay, because you had two burgers and a bunch of sweets at twelve thirty. All right, so you don't think I can do that now? No, you're forty eight. Three, forty three. Don't say that, but the air's on. Everyone's fired. But um, it feels good though, huh? It does, yeah. So I did that. And I couldn't sleep. And, do you th- and my question is, I didn't sleep till four. I couldn't. I was tossing and turning. I tried everything. I took a little bit of NyQuil. Mm. Didn't work. NyQuil goes like this. No. Dude, NyQuil, I have the, you know this, I have the opposite reaction to NyQuil than, is suppo- than you're supposed to have. What? Yeah, it keeps me way wired and awake. Whoa. Yeah, it sucks. Dude. A- anyway, uh, I couldn't get to sleep till four. I legit was moving around, and Kristen was like, why don't you just go in the other bed? You're kind of keeping me up. And I was like, yeah, okay. I thought you were sleeping. So I went, and I and I finally went to sleep, and that's why I was a little bit late here. I'm really tired. But what about what about all the other days that you're late every day? I'm not. You're late a lot. I'm late sometimes. You're late. The thing about me is I'm like five to ten minutes late almost all the time. Yeah. You'll be like 80 minutes late. Dude, I was three minutes late. Today... I I'm wrote a review general, okay, before we get the, into it. Okay. I wrote a review because I'm going to work on being a critic. <laughs> okay? I wrote a review for Artifice Girl. Okay. Why don't right? you lay it on us? I wrote this last night. Exiting the theater shouldn't just be a way to get back to your car and go home. It can be... <laughs> <laughs> Exiting the theater shouldn't just be a way to get back to your car and go home. It can be much, much more. And yes, we long for the days where movies leave you with that wow feeling. 
Well, the new piece by Franklin Rich is that plus more. It takes tired tropes and revamps them into beautifully spun lore. This modern classic rips apart all conventional filmmaking and throws it out the window while you're sitting there thinking, yeah, this is what I've missed in the movie since the 70s. See Artifice Girl in the theater, and when you leave, that's when a whole other experience begins. <laughs> You aren't just walking to your car. You're thinking about the film and how it exposed humanity to its very core. The truth is this piece is a gorgeous thinker. Dude, that is the part that makes me most mad. That part makes me so mad. It was kind of humorous until I got to the end. Five stars. Oh, you for, yeah, at the, at the very end, he put, didn't write out five stars. He had five star emojis. Oh, God, dude. Oh fuck! Five the fact that I did that at two thirty in the morning. He's a great thinker, you know. <laughs> gorgeous. A gorgeous thinker. Wow. <laughs> like it's a person. <laughs> that review or whatever you want to call it is like the thing. Of, there Dude, are, you could be a, a lot of critic. things. It's a lot of things, namely awful, terrible, whatever. But the thing that it is the most is that each sentence. It's like missing three sentences in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do. Like you're making so many leaps that I do. you didn't earn. I do. Yeah. But but anyone could be a movie critic. Well, I could well, do right that now, in a mass right, following. Right now, anybody is a movie critic. Mm -hmm. And that's improper language. But what I mean is yeah. if you read movie reviews now, uh -huh. literally all it is yeah. is shit like that where it's like right. – I, guy you have no idea about, yeah, yeah, yeah. liked it. Or I, guy you have no idea about, didn't like it. Yeah. That's not criticism. That is your shitty armchair opinion mm -hmm. that you're writing about on some blog that no yeah. one fucking reads. Submitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway. You know, got, got tanked, you know? No, and, uh, you didn't. So uh, that's what, that was what I, what I wrote about that at 2 30 in the morning when i couldn't sleep you don't need to wrap it up i texted the thing's over you know what i mean all right so, so in short that anyway, is, is what good. i wrote but that so lifeline luxury is where it's at dude but right now we're going to get into um some uh, uh video submissions wow. okay. worst segue guy ever i mean everything i do is bad you know you're saying well it's deeper but whatever it's whatever i do you say it's bad no, i mean you don't need to do that I made it worse Hello, Chris and so Matt. Dark. My name is Karis. I'm 21 and I'm from the DMV. I'm going to get straight to the from point because this is very interesting to me and I'd love your intake. Like so my dear friend who is Muslim was talking to and is kind of still talking to this guy who is Christian. If you were none the wiser, you would have no idea that in the Muslim culture, it's very frowned upon to be with, date, or marry anybody outside of no. the religion. Yeah, well, I mean, People shit. can get disowned for it. That's just their culture and how they do things. So they had a great time together. Their talking stage um, had a lot of great experiences. It made each other really happy. But somewhere down the line, he made the decision to kind of end it because he yeah. felt they were both getting too involved and invested into something that wasn't going to end up long term, uh -huh. purely due to religion. Uh -huh. yeah. So yeah. I'd love to hear your take. You just should they say fuck it? Or should they respect Dude, it? I should have been like that too I when know. I was younger. Just Here, like, I'm mo sorry, I'm Muslim. Here's the deal. I can't, I'm Muslim. With my feelings about that guy. Thanks for the eat though. You ready? Yeah. Boo! Boo! Yeah. You suck! Yeah. You suck, <laughs> you're not marrying some girl that you really, really like because some book some guy wrote 1400 years ago. Yeah, but it sucks. That's a stupid reason. But maybe he's not even Muslim. Maybe he just says he's Muslim no, because he likes- No, I'm trusting her. Thanks for the eat -on. She knows the guy and knows the girl involved. Dude. He's actually Muslim, okay? Thanks for the eat -on. Oh, babe, I would, but I'm Muslim. The, but they don't think they had sex, dude. If they're both religious oh, people, the talking you don't have premarital sex. Thanks for the talking. I'm Muslim. Okay. So the point is just to thank them and get out because you're yeah. Muslim? Oh, dude, I can't, man. Uh, sorry, dude. Some guy wrote a book 14,000 years ago. I'm Muslim. 14,000 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that is, the, that is the most set up on a T thing for me. It's so, so, so simple and straightforward. It's really hard to find someone that not only that you love, but that loves you back. You can't add things to get in the way. You can't be yeah, like, well, yeah, 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 yeah. my book that was written 1400 years ago says I can't marry you. And your book that was written 2000 years ago says you can't. So like, well, maybe we shouldn't like, dude, the world sucks. I know. It's 2023. It's obvious right. nothing matters all you need to do is go online and see just be with the person that mm -hmm. you like the most and that likes you the most yep. because that feels good and that is literally all we got so your friend's an how idiot how long ago was the guy's the an idiot that was the guy that wrote the muslim book 
The Quran was written about 1400 years ago. History of the Little Quran. More. Who really wrote the nice Quran? Man. Yeah. I can't believe that that's what I said to Siri and I got I got it right. Did that really work? Yeah. Oh wow. Jeez, I was making that's a joke because I'm smart. I know it's the Quran. Wow. Okay. Well, good. Uh, yeah, dude. That's uh, yeah. That's uh, that's so stupid. That guy. You know. I don't know. Everyone. Honestly, all religions do it. Well, a lot of no, religions do it. It has nothing to do with Islam specifically. Yeah, yeah not it's Islam. True of Christianity. Some se- some sects of Judaism. Like I mean, any religion. Is Mormonism. Like Mormonism is Christian. A oh, did you say Christianity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't hear. But uh, yeah, dude. It's 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 mm. idiotic, top to bottom. Doesn't matter what religion it is that it says. Any religion that is the reason for you to not marry someone you would otherwise want to marry or just be with for a long time, that is bad. Full stop. The end. There's no merit to it. It is stupid. It's like believing in Santa Claus or the mm. Tooth Fairy. Mm. Uh, Sorry, I'm Muslim. Thanks for the talking, though. Yeah. Wouldn't even really make sense, though. Cause like, what if that's what he said? Dude, thanks for the talking. I'm Muslim. She would have. I know what she would have said. What? What? Because <laughs> I don't, I don't understand what you mean. I, but then he said, "I don't even know your shit. We didn't do that." Any, oh, what do you think she'd say? What? Wait, say that again. What? 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 We didn't even. I don't know your shit because we didn't even do that. Any, oh. She would be like, "Okay, bye." Yeah. And thank you for revealing there you go. So your basically, real that self is what he me. said. So she should thank him. That's not at all what, she, what he said. It's not even close to what he but said. But basically, he did say that because he's saying I can't be with you because I'm Muslim, yeah. and I'm saying Muslim because that's what I want to say, not Muslim. It's fine. Okay. Both work. Uh, but you're kind of a cock if you're a white guy and you're like Muslim. But you were doing it the whole time because I was making a joke. There's a comedy oh. podcast. Oh, if I was giving a but real speech, but it's really a thing trauma, people say though. I know, but I go Muslim. It's like when people say Jesus. No one does that. Well, I, in some circles they do. It's like when people say Jodoism. Oh the, yeah, or, or or um, Pakistan. Brian Cowan does that. Oh, you know okay. what I mean. Yeah, I just I want to fucking rip his Adam's apple out. I wasn't getting mad until you mentioned yeah. his name, and then I mentioned his face, Pakistan. and then I got mad. There you go. So anyway, yeah, that sucks, man. Love is love, dude, and you got to just be in love and love it, and not, not let religion or anybody who wrote any book fourteen hundred years ago, or fourteen days ago, or fourteen thousand days ago, even if it's The Client by John Grisham, don't listen to people who wrote books. Wow. And love who you want to love. You're extrapolating too much, but yeah, love who you want to love. I'm an extrapolator. Sounds like a movie that would come out with like Denzel Washington. No, straight to DVD. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. With like uh, Cole Hauser and Bruce Willis. Oh, wow, dude. Years ago. And, years um, ago. and uh, Devin Sawa. Okay, cool. <laughs> Shit. What's up, guys? Stefan here from Serbia. Shit. I'm a huge fan. Nice. Watching your show for a long time watching uh, Chris congratulations podcast for a bit I mean few years Hell yeah even before uh, the COVID even before it that, existed that <laughs> happened after that uh-huh. so yeah I got a quick question for you uh, recently my mother passed oh, sorry, sorry. and it was uh, you know tough time yeah. for me lately mm. and uh, one good thing that happened to me in this period is he in a tanning is, bed? Um, <laughs> let's say a relationship that I did not expect huh. at all with an ex that I was with, uh, let's say, half of my life ago, oh, wow. when we were kids, wow. really, really young teenagers. He looks young. And, yeah. you know, I'm uh, catching some feelings very fast, mm-hmm. yeah. like uh, maybe we were together for a month now. Uh-huh. I mean, we are still together, right. and I'm really feeling a lot. I mean, I would say I'm falling in love, but I, yeah, I lost my mother in that period, like two weeks ago. And uh, my question is for you guys, is it too good to be true? You know, when you lose somebody and you meet somebody, I mean, not in that order, but anyways, when it's almost at the same time, is it possible to be, you know, like, um, to really feel the feelings that you need to feel? Or is it all because I, you know, lost my mother and now I want to love somebody else, maybe somebody new, but I'm feeling like I, you know... I really do love this person, yeah. this girl, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, do you have some similar experience maybe in your life when you lost somebody and you also gained somebody new in your life? It can be a friend, maybe yeah. love, anything. Yeah. So yeah, also, guys, is it too good to be true, you know, to meet somebody really okay. <laughs> good for you mm-hmm. in the period oh. of your life when it's all bad? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Well, you know, the reincarnation is a real thing. It could be his mom. It's not a real thing, but that also is fucked up. 
he doesn't want to hear that. He doesn't want to be like, oh, oh, the woman I actually fell in love with was not, was my mom. <clears throat> Lovely. The joke is that she was alive when the mom was alive. Anyway, it can't be a ref- ah, thing, you know. And you point, fucked it all yeah. up. Okay. Well, I think you fucked it up by mm-hmm. making it. But okay. no, dude, I just, I do, I just love how matter of fact he was. Just like, you know, I would say I am, you know, falling in love. So yeah, like that's a Serbian. He was very yeah. Uh, so yeah. I am in love. So what do we do now? You yeah. know, like that's how you do it. I think that. <clears throat> I, I I get the question he's asking. It's kind of it's a little bit complicated because he you need comfort. He's basically saying, "Am I falling in love? Am I being yeah. vulnerable to feeling yes. like I'm falling in love just because I'm so in so much pain about yes. my, my mother passing away and my life is in such flux?" Right. I would say actually, it doesn't matter because your experience of of your experience is that you're falling in love. And you can't be like, well, no, I think I'm just doing it because this, this, and this. It doesn't matter. If you're feeling the feeling, then you're, then it's legitimate, <clears throat> and it's what's actually going on. And you should not, you should not lessen its significance in your mind, or certainly shouldn't like put the brakes on it just because you're worried that it's some kind of like replacement for these feelings. Also, that's how life goes. It's just that's such a massive scale version of it. Usually, you know, when our hearts are more open and seeking maybe some kind of companionship or love, we're more likely to to find it because our hearts are more open and because we're more on the lookout for it. Like you are you didn't mean to have your mother die and then have this big hole in your life, but it happened and now you do and you are a person with that hole and who cares mm-hmm. if the reason is that or whatever, something else. It, yeah, it's just, it, it it's all comes down are. to a few things. Do you have fun with her? And is the e on good? Because... All else, it doesn't matter, dude. It really doesn't matter. I mean, you could make a case that he needs to heal the, first. Even the eat you being good doesn't matter. You could make a case. Eat you matters. Well, eat you matters, but it's like other stuff matters. I think same the same amount as eat you. Yeah. But not being happy. Like being happy is the above. Of course, above being all. happy is above all. But yeah. that's why I said it first. But it comes down to a few things. Does she? Are you happy hanging out with her? Is yeah. it fun? And it, how's the eat on? Because if the eat on, but I don't think that's third or second. I think it's like, uh, what I think is that there's the top, it's like general happiness, uh-huh. whatever that means to whoever. Yeah. And then it's like a few things in the next category. So just to say the two implies that is the eat on good is as, ha- is as important as this general happiness. I don't know, man. I think the eat on is high on that list. I used it, to not is, think so. But you, okay. know, you know, you're I, not allowing for the distinction and nuance that I'm adding to the conversation. So you think it's about happiness? What else? Is the eat you good? Okay, and then, that's what I'm saying. But, but no, but you're stopping after is the eat you oh, good. Making I get it seem it. like so it's just other the two things. Yeah, right. It's, yeah, it's yeah, only yeah. about the happiness and the eat Yeah, right. All right, yeah. so then what? Uh, I mean, that's it. Okay, no, so. No, I'm just kidding. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know, but that's not the point. Keep going. You're I saying. know, no, no, I get it. I, I, I think it comes down to a few things. And you know what Matt says is true. The, 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 here's the deal. You got to, hopefully you're not in like this sort of fever dream kind of weird area in your life where, oh my God, my mom died. I'm not who I normally am. Yeah, right. And I fell in love at this moment because I do think that there is something to be said about feeling your feelings and also uh, figuring out how to cope with this before you involve someone else. But also it happened the way it happened. Yeah. And as long as you're happy with her and the eat was nice, I feel like it's good. Truly. Also, he didn't seem like a man in a tailspin. Yeah, he, he didn't. Like not be, I mean, who his, knows, but... No hole in his head at the moment. He seems yeah. pretty... He could have got it. But yeah, he could have just put it together for the video. Who knows? He just stops taking video. And just, <laughs> I mean, bro, you never know. Yeah. People... Because, dude, like, even, like, as much footage as there out of me on the internet, like, people come up to me sometimes, and or I get messages, or somebody sent a message to my wife the other day, and it was like... Uh, man, I, I didn't realize that Chris was like such a nice guy and he was so soft spoken and like appreciative and like, and it's like, did they just think that I'm going to be like, ah, you're a piece of shit, you know, Probably. just because that's how I am on the fucking podcast. My point yeah, is people think that people don't, you can't tell who someone is just by that much footage. So maybe this guy could be in a real, real, real dark could, area, could but be. got it together for a could little be. bit. I think it's kind of like a. Forgive me for generalizing, but I think Serbians, just be it based on life mm-hmm. circumstances, yeah. and certainly in previous generations, yeah. they're probably like yeah. less bulldozed by things in life 100%. than people in America are. You know yeah, what I mean? totally. Uh, so I think they tend to be more even keeled. And uh, you know, I am uh, falling in love. I would say I am in love. Um, 
Yeah. My All mother right. died and then falling in love. And my mother yeah. died, fell in love. Uh, it was hard to have mother die and then I fell in love. It is beautiful. Anyway, um, yeah, just so chill. I about will have the chicken talking to the <laughs> waitress. All right. So chill about the two most extreme things. Anyway, I will have falafel or whatever they eat over there. Wow, um, so racist. Have no idea. Okay. I don't have any advice as needed. I just wanted Lucky. to clear up uh, <laughs> an argument between Chris and Matt. Oh. Um, for the sneeze. So I want to start by saying never lie. I agree with Matt on that. Sneeze. Don't lie. There's no purpose for it. But the <clears throat> remember the guy that called in. Uh, he was sharing a bed with a friend. Yeah. Oh and right. That was sneezed. yeah. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. This and then, wait, 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 say it about. though. Say it. Yeah. What? Just for for I'll people to, that I'll see this episode, I'll but not that episode. Yeah, yeah, Go ahead. It was it was this guy had just started dating a girl. Uh, that he was really into, but just prior to that, he had made plans to go on this big European trip yep. with a really good friend of his who happened to be female. And happened to be a The sneezer. girl he was, he had just met has like these sort of issues from the past that were bubbling up about this trip he was mm -hmm. taking. Mm -hmm. And instead of, t you know, he felt the pressure of this new situation he was in. And instead of telling her the truth, which was that they were going to be sharing a room together on their travels because money and less rooms the better yeah. and if you have friends it's easier to stack them up anyway um he lied to her and said they were staying in separate rooms they were on the phone one night she's still in the states he's in europe mm -hmm. he's in bed with his friend she, his girlfriend doesn't know that his friend sneezes like an asshole ruins everything and then the Sneezer. girlfriend is like who was that and the guy says it was me big mistake yeah and now this woman has uh, I'm angry with that woman for sneezing, but yeah. My point was like, you shouldn't have lied in the first place. Yeah, you shouldn't have. But now that you but did. But in the meantime, since we did, don't sneeze. Go ahead. I'm leaning more towards the fact that this woman sneezed on purpose. Yeah. To sabotage that phone call God, and that relationship. It could totally be true. Because she has feelings for him. Ooh. Uh, we, Chris was right. You could have, you know, she could have gone in the bathroom. Exactly. She could have left the room. She could have covered her face. So... In my perspective, yeah. there's, there's more too. to that friendship than he thinks, and I think she purposely sneezed God. loud enough for this other girl to hear. Um, I don't know. You decide, yeah. but... Yeah. That's a really good about. point. Let me tell you what, what I'm happy about. I'm happy she made this, this video uh -huh. and said what she said. Uh -huh. I'm happy Chris picked it. Uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Because it seems like good in a way that you have to be smart to be able to recognize that it's yep. good and he's not that smart yeah but he figured it out he figured it out i'm yeah. going to i'm going to say i bet he didn't even watch the fucking video and just click no nope. like, how about uh -uh. this one oh well, well i mean i wouldn't well, even here we far. go dude you no. give you guys give me no credit well, no 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 that's that is true i was gonna say that's not true you pick good videos no you do pick good videos but you have probably have someone doing that for you <laughs> <laughs> you farm that one out uh no that was a very great <laughs> very great choice of video chris very good interesting submission and frankly i can't i can't believe it but i didn't even consider that i i actually can't, i kind of was thinking that that's why i said what i said but she put it into words way better than i did which is crazy because i'm an orator well it's but like she, a it's like a <laughs> freudian thing yeah almost. well no because she might not even have known but don't my yeah well yeah even oh, if yeah, it for wasn't sure, intentionally yeah. sabotaging right, right, right. she could have been doing it to sabotage but my whole thing is don't fucking sneeze dude just don't sneeze or haven't you ever sneezed when you didn't want to sneeze though yeah but really quietly <laughs> you threw up you know or like in the uh, in the <laughs> other room or oh here it comes who's it's not like you no. don't know it's coming but, but, but here, let's let's maybe you're never this. just like yeah wait, if we're gonna ah! if we're gonna speculate no. though what if he also didn't even tell the friend because of whatever it could be a number of reasons right you know he was like yo don't don't say shit be quiet don't don't you know i mean uh, you would think He's just testing her. He's on the phone. Yeah, yeah, honey. Ch -ch -ch, with hairspray. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Pepper. Yeah, mm -hmm, honey. A feather. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. That was a good video. It was a I good video. I heard it. I thought about it, and I just thought I was just, uh, you know, oh. I was just like, I'm loving what life. A, I love and laugh. What a, I love and laugh. What a great recap, dude. Yeah, she did good. She should come on the show. Should she want to be the third dude, host of the would, show? You should be a fucking football announcer. She should, she should sit right here. 
a football announcer with that. There Her? he goes, long, long down, down the road, down the oh. fucking <laughs> ten yard line, and it touchdown. There we go. You know what? That was amazing. You just kind of ran and got a touchdown. You know me, I'm just a love and life, a love and life. <laughs> oh, dude, we should ask these people. For I've been doing that for years, and I, I'm convinced there is a song that that oh, does know. that. And people that are listening now, please know what the song is. What we're doing? Okay. All it is in my mind yeah. is I love and laugh. I love and laugh. I love and laugh. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Bro, it is, if is, that's <laughs> a song. <laughs> it's, I mean, how many years is this though? This is like that maybe, would be an 80s song or a 90s song. There's no fucking way oh, it's you in know the what this made me think of. What? <laughs> okay, so we had cable and because we're two boys and we were like eight and eleven when we were kids, we yeah. had cable in our rooms. Not a good idea, you know what I mean? Yeah, this is a uh, life on luxury but story, but okay, knew. we'll do it. Yeah, it is, but I gotta say, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we watched, we watched life life like a soft porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we were, let me tell you, we were hello and laugh. Yeah, right, I'll say. It, yeah. And at the end of the movie, uh, we watched until the credits, you know, because we're eight and eleven, and the song was that the the hook on it was I got a Woody. Oh right, and yeah. we thought it was the funniest thing that. ever, and then. Because YouTube is so great, we found this song years yeah. later. Yep. And let me tell you something. It's the worst song of all time. Oh, it's the worst. Just look up it's I got a Woody song. We'll play it on we'll play it on Lifeline Luxury because we can. Yeah. And yeah. imagine us laughing at it. We died laughing. I got okay. a Woody. All right, cool. I got a Woody. Yeah, yeah. No, I got a Woody. Oh yeah. shit. Man, how unsexy is the term Woody? Dude, it's the worst. Oh, yeah, baby. Like, there's, mm, mm, oh, it's yeah, just... Oh, mm, mm, oh, baby, hey. Mm, <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, mm, oh, put your hand on my Woody. <laughs> I mean, what's uh, what's the uh, equal oh, for box? Want to suck my Woody? Oh, yeah. I feel so good <laughs> on my Woody. I mean, what about weenie? Dude, that's oh, the least weenie. sexy thing. <laughs> <laughs> Woody's a little bit better than weenie. Oh, mm, oh baby. Oh, God. Oh, I feel so good on my weenie. Don't. Do the fake kiss sound, oh, dude. Oh, that is oh, baby. so oh. disgusting. Oh. Hey. Stop. Uh, uh, Ew. That's kissing. I know what it is. I've uh, done it. I've done uh, it, okay? Uh, man, uh, touch my weenie. Uh, oh, I feel so good on my weenie. Hey. I mean, also, though, like, hey. what word would that, would those words be acceptable, hey. you know? Oh, man, I feel so good on my weenie. <laughs> the biggest person. <laughs> Just having <laughs> sex with an actual yeah. whale. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> who is this is an amazon woman nine feet tall that'd be cool it's like where wonder woman lives well all okay. right um such a nerd you know it's like where wonder woman lives Yo, it's got, oh, stop it pause it pause it he's on so uh, much coke <laughs> dude this guy's on so much coke right now and also always go back dude go look back at the coke guy ah uh, dude so much coke in the, one second yo what up lifeline wow uh big fan oh. chris i saw you out in dc oh nice matt fucking trill as fuck nice. um my question is what do you say to people that like call out when you're rocking like a new article of clothing or like yeah. a piece of jewelry i just got this gold chain yeah and i look cool. freaking sick yeah you look freaking but sick. i need something to say to people that call it out yeah thanks yeah i i i i understand let me just fucking put on what i want and don't say shit about it i know i know what you do so what say something about like my change or something oh dude that's cool you got two chains on oh you noticed yeah. Oh, you noticed. Yeah. Ah. Oh. oh my God, like the that. worst guy. You know. No, you get real like up close to them and up close to their face. Did you just notice because I have them on? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, it's annoying, dude. It's annoying. It's like, I mean, I even feel that way about haircuts. Are you getting? Did you get a haircut? You yeah, that I is did. annoying. You too. know, I did. You noticed know you saw I, my hair. No, I'll go further. Now you want to talk about my haircut? What the fuck is this? I'll go further. You know what I don't like when people are like, I saw you posted on Instagram. I, I feel so like, uh, you know what? Leave that for the internet. Uh, Just comment. Don't be that, talking about what I posted on Instagram. But what if they have something to say about it? Actually, text it to me. Wow. I mean, so many rules. Okay. So if they have something, life. <laughs> if they have something real to say about a post, they need to text it to you. No, if they actually have something real to say. But if they're like, dude, that fucking story you did with the fucking other guy in it, oh man. It yeah. makes me feel weird. Just it leave it weird. for the leave it for the leave it for the Instagram. That's weird, yeah. And you agree. I'm surprised you agree. Mm -mm -mm. All right. You're not surprised, but I do agree, yeah. Oh, I'm not? Nope. Dude. What's up, man? Feast your eyes on that. 
I'm looking. What do you want? What do you think about that? Do it again. I'm going to add it up. Can I pull it up? Mm-hmm. Freeze tries on that. That's a snake. You got a fucking snake on your arm? Yeah, right there. Well, I mean, I know where it is, but why? Well, what do you mean, what is it? You can see it's a snake. But, it, it, like, from this angle, it looks like it might be, like, a ball sack. No. No. Okay, but why a snake? If your balls look like that, you're in trouble, huh? <laughs> why a snake? Um, Because they're in the grass of the log cabin. We got to watch out oh, for Oh, right. I forgot you have the whole, like, story lore. going on. It's yeah. lore. Okay. Lore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, just learned lore yesterday because <laughs> it's the second it's the second time you used the word in 24 hours. <laughs> Dude, we have log cabin lore. I believe you. That's cool. The snake is out of proportion to the house, though. It's as big as the house. Yeah, it's a symbol, dude. Okay, but is I'm it like a little weenie fucking is snake it like, in the grass? Is it like is it like perspective? Like it's closer, or it's just separate entirely? No, it's just a it's just a fucking mural. You know how murals go? Yeah. It's not a mural though. It's a tattoo. It is a mural on my fucking bicep and all no, that. No, it's a tattoo. Yeah, but it's a mural of art on my fucking bicep and tricep no, and stuff. No, 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 no. You don't say like, did you see the painting I have on my arm, which is a tattoo? That's not well, what you, we do. You could say that, and I would understand what you mean. Well, of and course, this you don't say what it meant. But it's like, a mural because of this is my art. My 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 body's my diary, and this is my journal. Well, okay, okay, man. Anyway. Uh, love and life. <laughs> <laughs> that snake's just on a branch. Just love and life. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. I, yep. def I mean, I de you came to the right place because I definitely know what you mean. Yeah. All right. Cool. So next one. Who's next? Billy the Kid in, in Canberra, Australia. Big fan. Wow. Who cares? Uh, my question's about Whoa. my father. Tinty. He has Parkinson's disease. Oh. Parkinson's disease. Uh, his health's on the decline since he. And my mom is his uh, full time carer, hmm. she's also a grandmother. Um, sometimes I'll get a call from work. He's fallen over. Oh. I've got to go pick him up, take him to hospital, shit like that. Yeah. Nurses have said we need to uh, get help. We, 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 she's eligible to have a nurse come in daily to do the rounds, lighten mum's load. But uh -huh. she loves her peace and quiet, right? Uh -huh. Woman of solitude. How do we nudge her to allow the help he needs? Talk to my siblings about an intervention. Probably won't go well. She'll get defensive. She has mental health issues herself. Um, so how do we do it lovingly without pushing her over the edge? <sighs> what do you think? You know, uh, mum's peace and quiet, dad's health. I, I know the answer. Yeah. But uh, I just need a little bit of help in. in what do you mean he knows the answer? Uh, he knows Thanks, what but. they should do. They should have someone come and help. But oh, he doesn't course, know right, about yeah. how to get his right, mom right, signed right. on for it. Uh, I think like a lot of things. You have to, when you deliver the news, you say it like it's a fucking present that you're getting her. You say it like it's it's a gift for her to enjoy. You get to take some time off, a little less stress, just in and out for a few kind hours every day, huh? whatever, and you get to just kick back and actually have your own peace and quiet. Dude, spin it like that. You get to have your own peace and quiet. It's manipulative. You know? Why are you saying that? Because... You know, you know, it, she doesn't want it, but you're manipulating the situation. No, like, no, she I think it. that, like, yeah, he, dude, I got you something. I'm not gonna say much. I think. <laughs> 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 I think that he believes he is doing his mom a favor. I think that he just also believes that she's not gonna understand it until it's there in place <laughs> happening, right? She, he's not like fucking over his mom. No, I know she needs that. help, and she's gonna deny it out of pride and like habit. Dude, I got your meet and greet. <laughs> Johnny Five Fingers. <laughs> what, um, did you make, what is Johnny Five Fingers? I don't know. I you just, just can't just make that up. I, did, I guess I did. I don't know. Is it a real thing? I have no, no idea. No, it's not. Definitely not. Uh, <laughs> you know? It could be something already. I don't know. Uh, since I'm it, creative. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, dude, you know she's going to get defensive. You got to take the big swing and make it sound like it is what it is, which is like a gift for her, yeah, basically. Just look, 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 mom, do you want to be love and life? I yeah. got you something. Exactly. Yeah, I, that's a, not a bad. That's not a bad advice, you know. Um, I, uh, I, otherwise, I, you're just gonna get the pushback that you yeah, know. True. You know, is coming. Like you, you want your peace and quiet. You get peace and quiet. Look, I get it, dude. Times are changing and it's gonna be tough. And change is always weird, but it's also inevitable. So, you know, you need help. He needs help. Let's yeah. just do this, and we got you this. 
And, the, and, yeah. and you know, we set it all up for you. You yep. don't have to do anything. Yep. If you don't like him or Chill. her when they come, like we'll get a new one, but like, this is good. Dad needs it. Yep. And like, it's going to make your life a lot easier and you, you deserve it. Get her in her, you know, make it about gaming. her, make it about get her, her in a gaming. De- you deserve this mom here. Play among us. See if you like it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess <coughs> you I could guess- also get her a PlayStation too, if you want. Yeah. I mean, I think that's good. I think that's, uh, that's good advice. Cool. Sorry to hear about that. Though, yeah, that man. sucks, that man. Sucks. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, dude. Hey, Chris and Matt. So, uh, so I just was driving home from work, and I called up my my best friend, um, and was just planning out something that was gonna happen in a couple of weeks, and we were just like talking, and I was telling him something funny, and then all of a sudden he's fucking silent, right? Yep. And then you just hear like a seven second delayed little tiny giggle, and I'm like, oh, this fucker's using his phone. Why he's talking to me. So <laughs> how I called him out. I said, I, I just said like, oh, dude, you're on your fucking phone. And he's just like, yeah, sorry. Like I'm just doing all this. And he yeah. told me what he's doing yeah. on his phone. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna let you go. But what's a better way when you know somebody's on their goddamn phone while they're talking to you on the phone um, to hit them with something like fucking make them feel like shit about it mm-hmm. or <laughs> mm-hmm. or just, no, like uh, you know, call them out better because, I, like I you know. It's just kind of like, really, dude, if I'm talking to you face to face and then all of a sudden I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck you. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So text them. Um, text yeah, them while you're talking you on the phone. Do you have any advice? Text them while you're talking on the phone. Yeah, I just, know what you're doing. DM them on Instagram. I know what you're doing. Text them and say, fuck you. I know what you're doing. Yeah. That's the move. Dude. Uh, <clears throat> couldn't. Uh, that guy. I liked his whole thing. His demeanor and everything. He seemed cool. Say why. I don't know, man. He was just seemed like easy going, even though he's calling in with like a gripe. He seemed like he was just chill. Like he wasn't really that mad about it. And he laughed during the thing. Like he just thought he was just very comfortable. And uh, he doesn't seem threatening. He seems like a nice guy. Um, I like that guy. My next question is, why don't you marry him? I mean, set me up, you know, for something <laughs> not even really that you like him. If, no, if you like him that much, you why don't, don't marry you, people why don't you like. You have him co-host this podcast with you okay <laughs> deeper Dude, you don't you don't marry people you like if they love them okay well it sounds like you might love that guy i don't think i love him uh i mean knows damn well you love him you know so uh, i don't i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know about texting is that enough I don't know, man. I, I, I just think that honestly... He wants to drag his friend for be- making him feel like Why shit. are you even talking on the phone? Who talks on the fucking that, phone? That's you know? what I was actually going to say. It's it's like, like, what are you guys talking about? I know the solution to this. Get off the phone. What are you talking about? Serious shit? You I know mean, in movies when they're like... Well, if it was serious, he wouldn't be doing the thing he was doing, playing games, whatever, right, looking at Instagram. True, you know? Right. How about, how about this? You be more interesting. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Be, be more memorable, like we say. Hey, dude. Maybe your friend's playing games on his phone while you're talking to him because yep. you're a fucking as exciting as a mausoleum. Yep. Maybe I, maybe I didn't was wrong in thinking that you were cool and I like you. Maybe you're actually not as interesting as lore. Wow, dude. You just know, fitting the word lore in now. Um, no, not even in situations where it's <laughs> where it works. No, but I just think that. Uh, yeah, I think that. Who cares, really? I don't even think you care. I think that uh, also what are you talking about on the phone, right? That's kind of weird, man. Also, no, I think what you should do, all things considered, when you realize they're doing something else, say, just stop what you're saying, even in the middle of a sentence, and just say, fuck you, and hang up. Oh, wow. That's really aggressive. But it's just as rude. It is rude as hell, dude. Like, just get off the phone with the person. <laughs> it do, is rude, Do them yeah. the favor of not wasting their breath, like... It's not rude to get off. Also, the phone. why did the guy admit that he was doing something else? Because you know, it's like if they're good friends, like uh, yeah, he does dude, bullshit, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like you even listening. He's like, nah, I'm nah. Not video. But here's me if the, if I'm in that conversation, and I'm looking at my phone, and I'm like, you looking at my phone, and I'm like, yeah, 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 dude, you're being fucking like say other shit. Yeah, you you would say that. Yeah. I would, yeah. I would, dude. It was so boring what these people were talking about a few nights ago, and I couldn't even believe it. I mean, that is so vague. What are you learning English? Where I, were you? Who were I they? I checked out. I didn't talk with them. And then afterwards, I was like, guys, you know, I don't know, man. And then we talked about something else and they got mad at me. You were with these people? Yeah. Okay. Do I mean, just do better telling that story. Because all you did was get to the middle end, middle slash end, and then end it. And no one no one had any context for what you were saying. Do you know what I mean? I, ta- I, 
I started late in the story, which is what you're supposed to do with yeah. a good story. You're supposed to start as late as possible into the story. Getting a lot of text. Did you know about that? Uh, I actually homemaker? did know that. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like a movie maker thing. Yeah, And I know that too. Sorry, I was just checking my fantasy baseball stuff. I think I'm going to write a horror movie. Nice. What's it called? Uh, uh, in, what, Artifice lore. Girl? Artifice Girls? Mm-hmm. Lore? Uh, there already is one called Lore. Mm. Horror. Um, really? Yep. Yeah. Is there was good? a I don't know there was a podcast they ripped me off. famous podcast called Lore and they oh, turned they yeah. turned it into something but that was not a but show that, so I can't remember a while ago that guy t- we got an argument on Twitter me and that guy Whoa. the creator of Lore oh really yeah About yeah what? the podcast I can't remember bro I cannot remember wow I was like you're a fucking cuck dude oh wow Jesus he was I mean but then also like back then I was a fucking fiery like a like yeah. a real like yeah. reactionary dude okay well. And I'm a little bit more chill now. Things change. Things do change. Okay. What's um, up? What do we got? Okay, one more or something? On Taking the, on the a shit. Taking hey, what up, Chris and Matt? Shit. So check it out. I have like a slight gambling problem. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh dude, literally does not wearing his shirt because he bet it. Yeah, yeah, and is in... Like a, that's furthest away closet. Yep. Away from so his yeah. wife doesn't yeah, hear. Yeah, yeah, Because he already lost the house. So I have like house. a slight gambling problem. Go, go back, go back, go back. I mean, de- there is no such thing, by the way, as a slight gambling. No, not problem. really. No. Hey, what up, Chris and Matt? Well, so check it out. Know? I have like a slight gambling problem. <laughs> um, gambling. I've probably made s- something between forty and sixty thousand dollars in the last two years online gambling. And the swings are up and down, obviously, you know. But Loses it obviously only. pays the bills. I mean, that's a lot of money. I'm up more than I'm down, and no. I probably need to stop because when the swings are low, yeah. it affects everything. Yeah. So, sure. at, so drunk, uh, oh, what wow. do you guys think? He's Should drunk. I just cut it out and just take my job is what it is and you know make like a hundred grand a year yeah, I mean, and be good. okay with that or should i continue to push and <laughs> hope that it uh, yeah, you know no. the swings go up let me know thanks ah, yeah Please. get out of that bro that sounds like a fucking problem waiting to happen <clears throat> so i mean it is a problem when you're up okay when you're gambling and you're you go way up which uh-huh. this guy obviously did uh-huh and then you go way down, but you're still technically up. Mm-hmm. It's two things that you realize. One is that you know you're playing a losing game, and you know you need to stop. But at no time is the impulse to bet more and get that high back stronger mm. than after you lose winnings. Mm-hmm. Not you lose your money, mm-hmm. but when winnings go away, the urge to get that back to reattain that high mm. is so <clears throat> strong stronger than at any other time and for all of those reasons you should absolutely do everything you can 100 percent to stop now yeah because you're gonna end up yeah losing. and it's gonna it's harder to stop the longer you do it i feel like addiction it, it, you know it's like I, I would honestly i would try to look i would try to have you tried to stop before? That's the thing that I think that you should you should think about. Have you tried to stop before? Because if you have tried to stop before and you didn't, then that's straight up addiction. You know, if like you know the lows are so bad and you can't stop even though you want to, like that's the definition of addiction. So you got to try and somehow get some help actually um, because gambling addiction is fucking brutal, dude. Uh, you'll ruin your life. I mean, I know some people yeah, who, are, who are who are gamblers, and it's just they've ruined, ruined their lives. So, um, yeah, uh, I would say stop. Honestly, my heartfelt response is stop. Because also, dude, y- 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 I understand everybody's struggling and it's hard to make money. But if you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year, that's a fine living. Like, I mean, especially, especially where outside it, of L.A. Yeah, exactly. Which... In L.A., it's impossible. But like, you know, wherever you live, like that's a fine living. Dude, it's not like you're making $15,000 a year to where you're like, I got to do something. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, you're going to fuck your life up, dude. The, the whole reason why you're making this video is because you know that there might be a problem. So if there might be a problem, then there is a problem. Just it's like when you think somebody might be gay and you're and you're like, really, you're like oh, no, no, actually, what? 
if I'm even thinking that, he's definitely smoked some poles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I mean, not a necessary analogy, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is, though. You know, because it's actually clearer with the gambling. It is because know? of the money thing. But honestly, yeah. if sucking poles was money, you'd, you know, you you maybe think differently about it. You'd be like, oh, is he gay? Oh, wait, the fact that I'm thinking that he's definitely smoked some poles, right? So, smoke some poles. Yeah, dude. I do think, I do think that you should stop. I think you should stop. Especially since you kind of are fucking making, you, you have a job, dude. You I'm also like, lost your shirt, literally. I mean, that is an expression. Yeah, you lo- that, I lost my symbol- shirt. Symbolically, it's very funny that you called in. With your- yeah, dude, exactly. Mm-hmm. You lost your shirt, literally, and you're gonna lose your shirt financially if you keep betting. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I get it. Why you want to keep going more than you did even when you first started? Really, way up. This is this is not complicated. This is not confusing. You're a very people don't like to hear this all the time, but what you're experiencing is actually extremely typical at this juncture you start to realize i gotta stop or else it's gonna get really really bad Mm. that's why you're asking and all all things are pointing to you gotta stop Mm. right now the big thing for me is if you tried to stop before and you couldn't then you gotta stop what if he hasn't tried to stop before it wouldn't lessen the amount he needs he needs to stop still i know that but i'm just saying that's a huge wake-up call into where you know the cycle has started and you're fucked yeah. But yeah, it's easier to nip it in the bud per se, which sounds like it's already too late for that. But yeah, I don't know. You haven't lost your fucking. Nothing will feel worse than when you lose money that you needed. Mm-hmm. You haven't done that yet. Mm-hmm. Save yourself the trouble. Mm. Interesting. It's it's the worst feeling. Is that it? You, you, you like to gamble or what? Oh, yeah. But you have a gambling problem? No. Hmm. So I don't you, do it anymore. Oh, you used to? Yeah. But not, not anymore? Yeah, uh, no, not anymore. No, um, I used to do it like you used to do it with what, like fan- baseball? Like yeah, online? like baseball betting. Yeah, uh, but, but that's not legal, like, right? Not like it's that. all legal shit. I would do legal shit. Yeah. yeah. So what would you mean, not like that? Oh yeah, that's a lot of that's money. A lot yeah, of yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, that For is like $50, fifty, sixty grand. Yeah. He lost, or was what, like was betting at one time? No, I don't have a fucking a betting to me. Gambling is just not something that I have any desire to do. I don't know why. It's just. I mean, it's almost never about money. For right. people, people for whom it's about money usually do pretty well mm. because it's, they're colder about it and they're like, oh, mm. I'm not going to do that. That's not going to make me money. Statistically. Emotional be- gamblers are the people who get ruined yeah. because it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's the, what is the biggest head fuck for gambling addicts is that it's not the high of a win. Right. It's the high of a, a low that you right, keep chasing. Right, right, right. That's, a, that's the most it's losing the game you can imagine. Yeah, it's the chaos, yeah. Yeah, it's the possibility of the low. You feel more comfortable in chaos. So much is on the line, and you're just like, it's just the most. Literally, stakes are higher than anything could possibly mm-hmm. be. Uh, so people get a high from that, and it's the worst fucking thing mm-hmm. to get a high from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I hope you get some help. Uh, happy Father's Day, and uh, go to Lifeline Luxury Patreon dot com slash Lifeline Luxury. We get at least what do we have? Three, four episodes out now. Um, you can go now, wa- it'll be at least watch, that. Yeah, watch them. We've been having episodes come out every week so far. We said at least two a month, uh, but we've been doing more than that. We have, we have, we have. No, no, this has been three, right? Yeah, but there are more than two episodes up. So there'll now. be three. Fourth episode. He's right. Yeah, this will be the fourth, right? Okay, so this is the third. All right. All right, cool. Oh. So we're doing more than two this month. So there you go. You're going to have three if you sign but up. But there now. will be four, too. Patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury. Yes, there will be. Uh, uh, go to watchlifeline.com if you have a thing, if you have a video you want to send to us and get the Lifeline merch uh, uh, at lifelinemerch.com. And tickets. Dude, I'm going to be in Colorado uh, coming up. ChrisLea.com, Colorado, Vegas, and Nashville, and Little Rock. MattDelia.com if you want a one-on-one private session. Don't need to blow up your face and your problems on the show. You can have a session with me private. Don't tell nobody. Give you good advice. Everybody's happy. Uh, If you make an appointment with me, I love you forever. If you don't, I hate you forever. Wow. And yeah, see you next week. Or if you are a patron who are all my best friends for the rest of eternity, then you, we will see you at lifeline luxury as well. Wow. Bye. Catch ya. Hello.